Infinitero888. This message is for Capricorn. Now you can have Capricorn anywhere in your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And Capricorn, this message may resonate with you. Or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. Now, Capricorn, as I was meditating on your energy, I just kept hearing the real deal. Yes, I'm hearing someone. Someone is realizing that no one can stop your destiny. Yes, look, even though you're in this energy of the hermit, because for some of you guys... You have been in hermit mode. What does that mean? You've been keeping to yourself. This is you finding what? Who you truly are in the inside. Some of you guys did soul searching. And it's been a long road right here. But look, this card fell out. And look where it's leading you. To success. And 111. And what is it? November 1st right now. Ooh, so some of you guys, this is what's coming towards you. And you already knew it. But this is you staying obedient to the universe. Now, the number nine might be significant. Some of you guys could be born on the ninth or in nine days. You're about to see this. And you can feel it. And for some of you guys, behind the scenes, you've been this. It's almost like the universe has disguised you and put you in a different place where you have been growing and you don't feel this i don't know for some capricorns you're like man are you for sure for real but for a lot of my capricorns that have been on this journey that are enjoying their journey because you guys did a flip the switch baby and you guys started to say you know what fuck this i love my spiritual journey and you have seen a tremendous change that all these obstacles you could handle because Capricorn, when you started to embrace this as a spiritual journey, and you started to speak it out. Because look, when you speak it out to the, to the universe, it's almost like God says, word, you love your spiritual journey? Yes, yes. And you look, no matter what comes towards you, you, you conquer it. And look, you might have been in this energy for sure. And you might have had the key right there. But Capricorn, what I'm hearing, and for some of you guys, this is going to resonate. And for some of you guys, it's going to hit hard. Why? Because some of you guys have been looking for clarity. But some people don't understand why you're still in this situation. And I don't know why I'm channeling this message. Because some people say, well, you have the key to get out of this and to get away from this and to, to better yourself. But it wasn't that easy. There was some betrayal, some obstacles you had to overcome. And for some of you guys, you looked at this spiritual journey. It's almost like when God, the universe, came to you, you were so happy. And, and it's almost like they chose me. And yes, you are part of, part of the 144, baby. And yes, you are a chosen one. And I'm talking to my Capricorns that aren't 100%. Oh my God, I'm saying perfect. And no one's perfect. You had your little dirt here and there. But you had a lot of faith in God and the universe. And when you took on this journey, see a lot of people are like, well, you have the ability to get out. No, some of you guys stayed in the pit. And it was like you started to, ev to evaluate, to look. And it's almost you trusted in God in perfect timing. And I hear a lot of my Capricorns, because your ancestors are back here, and they want me to take another shot. Estos cabrones son borrachos. Man, they like to drink. The last three weeks, man, I've been doing these readings, and man, your ancestors love to drink. They like to party. I don't have no problem with it. But damn, they like to drink. And they're, they're so proud of you. You took the time to sit in the pit. And even the devil was like, aren't you coming out? And you were like, hold up, man, I on. Wait a moment. I want to go within. I want to see what I need to heal. And I want to put to death anything that 
I need to break when it comes to generational curses. So no, I'm not ready to come out. And this is you healing with the universe. This is you staying in a position right here. See the road leads over here, but you elevated so high in the universe. Saw how dedicated you was or you are to this spiritual journey. Now, Capricorn, you're not realizing how powerful you are. I don't think you're realizing how powerful you are. See, like I'm getting this energy and I got the shivers. And look, if you could see my hairs, you would see them picking up because I heard this message that came out and I saw this card. And it's almost like you don't know how powerful you are. Or some people might not know, but baby, you are a motherfucking go-getter. And when it comes to anything, people might see you in this energy. And they might think they can run all over you. But no, baby. And if you've been in this energy, you felt people betraying you all the way around. The only reason they were able to do that is because you were holding back. Because behind the scenes, these particular persons wouldn't even step to you. But when they saw you holding back and not wanting to come out is what I'm hearing is when they took advantage of you. But you were waiting on who? God, the universe to release you. And when I saw this card, I saw go-getter. It's almost like this whole thing just lit up go-getter. You have this spirit of a go-getter. Now, Capricorn, I'm hearing the real deal. Put it in the comments because you guys are the fucking real deal. And with you elevating at this level and wanting to stay in this energy, it was like, you fell in the pit and the devil was on the other side. It's like, when are you coming out? And you're looking at the devil like, I'm going to come out when I'm going to come out. Why you stood in this energy and I'm feeling this energy and I'm getting this channeling and some of you guys may resonate with this. It was when you fell in this pit, even if you threw yourself in there or people in your inner circle threw you in. Because I'm hearing the, Jos the, the story of Joseph where the siblings threw them in. For some of you guys, the story of Job, where you were tested. You never, you never, you never lost faith in God, the universe. And there was one thing that you sat here and you cried about. And it was like, I'm going to learn my intuition. And your ancestors are back here. And hold up, man. They're wanting me to take the three because they're like, you're on point, Mr. Infinite 888, a.k.a. Baby. Look. And look, New York might be something. And it's something pioneer that you're doing. Now, Capricorn. You understood universal law. That's one I heard. And it's almost like when the universe, you, the universe, God put you behind the scenes right here where people thought you weren't going to be able to come out of this situation. It's almost you saw their true colors and it freaking hurt you. And it could have hurt you. Why? Because it was people that were so close to you that were counting you out. Now, these are the same particular people that you, that you, were always pushing forward and you were putting yourself last and you were being the doormat, but not no more Capricorn. A la chingada with that. You said, fuck that. Translated in English, a la chingada. Unless it's different, but look, you said, you know what? Hell no. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to reflect and I'm never coming back to this place in my life. Mm-mm. You understood the greatness that God has for you. And you said, you know what? When I leave this place, I'm going to go after all my dreams. Baby, put it in the comments. What is something that you've always dreamed of doing that you didn't have the courage? Now, that question came to me, but it was also asked. I believe it was for Leo. So maybe you have Leo or are dealing with the Leo or you just have Leo in your chart. But I see fire coming. And Capricorn, you may be dealing with a water sign. You may be waiting on a water sign because there's water right there. 
Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. But Capricorn, you're waiting on the universe to tell you when to go forward. And you know how powerful that is? Big time power. See, when you put your trust in God, the universe, you're always going to win. I don't know who needed to hear it. But look, the universe and your ancestors are screaming out loud. Make sure you use your intuition with someone of your past. Now, this could be somebody that you might have had some karmic ties. So you might have had some children with. But the universe wants you to use your intuition with someone from your past. Because someone from your past, I'm hearing, and your ancestors have been warning you. They only want you for your energy. And Capricorn, when you got into this energy, and you really pulled away, and you chose you, because this is you choosing you, the roles have reversed. The people that took advantage of you, maybe it was a spouse, maybe it was a lover, Whoever it may be, if it was a, even a toxic sibling, I don't know. But look, now the tables have turned. And they're realizing that this time they're not going to come in no more with you. They've lost you for good. You're too busy. What? Co-creating with spirit. And look at you. Look at you. And you have this white dress and some of you guys... If you're my females, you look hot in a white dress, white jeans. But you're not looking for nobody. This is not a sexual energy that you're portraying out there. This is the purity that you have for what? For choosing God, your ancestors. And look, you're using your intuition. Because you're not going after what looks big, shiny, you know, mm -mm. You're going where the universe is showing you to get. And look, it's a small pentacle, but that pentacle is going to grow big. And see, that's when you start to use your intuition. That's when you start to trust who? Yourself. Now, you're going to be tested. But I see a lot of you Capricorns. What? Trust in your intuition. Trust in God, the universe. You're not going to go after this big, oh, here, shiny some of you guys, you might have been dealing with somebody that looked like a star, but you, they weren't. They were a snake and you started to understand and look, there's something behind you trusting your intuition. The universe understands you made mistakes and the universe wants you to release that guilt and shame. Because some of you guys could get stuck like, damn, I made the mistake. No, the universe is testing you, training you. It's almost like sharpening you. Because you are a freaking star. You're meant to show other people how to get out of this freaking pit. Capricorn, you have a powerful, I mean a powerful, not only destiny, but you have a powerful purpose, baby. I'm here very prosperous. And Capricorn, hit the like button. Share, subscribe, and comment, baby, if this is you, because I'm here. I am freaking blessed. I am wealthy. I am love. But most importantly, I am grateful. I am fearless. I am powerful. These are affirmations you have been doing yourself. And it's something you're going to pass on to your kids, to your family, to people that you're about to help. And you're going to let them. Un <laughs> it's almost like you're going to let them realize that they can make mistakes. They don't have to be fighting within themselves. It's part of your journey. You see, this person right here is carefully picking out. Yeah, he made a mistake. Yes, she made a mistake. Tara has no gender. But look, the snake is running away. And you're like, well, you know what? I did make a mistake. Let me pick this one. And you're taking that leap of faith. And you're not having these blocks no more. If you fell a few times, you're learning how to get back up. Yes, and this is bringing balance. Now, Capricorn, you may be dealing with your 1-7. I get this energy from you all the time. Now, there's somebody very special when it comes to you and your 1-7. This particular person could be a 
cancer. And this motherfucker could be a star. And maybe this particular person taught you how to get up and how to fish, how to get your own shit. This particular person is probably in this energy and you see them in the energy and you see them moving forward and it rubbed off from you. See, it was part of their mission to enter your life. But this, your ancestors are wanting you to use your intuition because there's going to be false people that are going to come in trying to teach you shit. But only you are going to know who the real star is. And this is something you're going to have to connect with the universe. And the universe is going to send you these messages. Now, you could be dealing with somebody with the Aquarius, but I'm here. There's somebody that's going to teach you how to connect with the universe and how to get this bunny. But most importantly, how to heal. This particular person has been through all sorts of shit. And it's not because this person... I'm here in Capricorn, not because this person was doing wrong. This particular person wanted to learn how to break generational curses. This is part of his purpose. This particular person could have a dog or just this person is very loyal. Money comes to him easily and effortlessly. And for a lot of people, it brings a lot of jealousy because this particular person, look, he has a lot of wisdom. He's been through a lot. He's healed a lot. And I'm... This is something you're learning how to heal. And it's something you're going to hold very close to your mind. Now, look, you have these two cards that were one behind the other. This particular person, like I said, could be a cancer. You're one seven or this is you in peace, allowing the ships to come to you. Now, you're playing with the singing bold. You are the star. We saw that earlier. La estrella cabrona, cabrona. Hijo de la chingada. And you're seeing these red flags. But look how patient you are seeing these red flags. And you got your sword. You'll cut that shit out quick. Hijo de su. 1717 on the clock. That's 888 or 88. Maybe you guys are seeing eight. But this particular person or this is you. You're fine tuned. Prosperity is coming to you. You are the star and you're in balance. You're tuned in. And what are you doing? You're attracting the ship to come towards you. Now, in love, this could be a cancer that's coming towards you. Now, Capricorn, if this is you, because the roles could be switched, you could have been searching high and low for a particular person. And the universe had already put somebody in mind to heal you. Now we got king and queen of cups. So maybe both of you guys had to heal in different areas. This particular person could have took a trip and moved on. Now you could be dealing with the Leo and look, the infinite sign is right there. So what you put out, you shall receive. 18, 18 on the clock, baby. That's an angel number. Check it out. There's a special message for you. But as soon as you had this strength to what? To look towards this cancer, to really open up to this person. Because baby... I'm here. Give it to God. For a lot of you guys, some of y'all in the past, y'all were dealing, because I'm here in Capricorn, you might have been dealing with a Sagittarius. And that's like a neighbor to you in the in the zodiac sign. Now, Sagittarius could have been somebody that you might have had a lot of love towards. Maybe could have had some problems and you needed your strength and you could have had some complications when it came to having some kids with this particular person. Now, this you might have thought was something divinely guided. But for some of you guys, you turned out to be a narcissistic person or lover or husband. And a lot of you guys thought this was the one, but it brought you heartbreak. And Capricorn, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with somebody that was throwing their spouse or husband, husband or wife underneath the bus. And they weren't all that. The problem was them. That's for a few of you guys. But Capricorn, if you was dealing with a false twin flame, this particular person could have been neighbors, not only in the zodiac sign, but also in the physical is what I'm hearing. 
this particular person, there was some kind of attraction, but it only brought you heartbreak. This particular person couldn't give it to you like you wanted to. You might have had some kids with them. Yes, indeed. And the kids wanted you to be together forever. But it brought you heartbreak. Capricorn, look, endlessly heartbreak. This particular person could have had some difficulties. I'm hearing with their sexuality. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but let's get out of that energy. You were very loyal to this particular person. And you thought it was heaven sent, but they did bring a lot of heartbreak. Mucho. This shit, like Capricorn, you had a lot of heart and love for this particular person. Maybe you were their ride or die chick or man. But it had to end. It was too many betrayals. Ay, 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 man. This is crazy. This is too much energy. Crazy energy. And for a lot of you guys, look, the universe is saying leave this betrayal, this, because for some of you guys, Capricorn, y'all want to take revenge into your own hands. Y'all want to call them out and put them out. But the universe, I'm hearing God, the universe is telling you to give it to him. Exodus 14, 14, you don't even got to lift one finger. You are divinely protected. Look at this, all this protection. The number seven might be something important. The universe wants you to know that you've risen higher than all this bullshit that was back here. And for some of you guys, they want to pull you back into this conflict. But the universe and your ancestors are telling you, you've already grown spiritually. You've planted some good seeds. And for a lot of you guys, if you want to take revenge, no, hold back. The universe is telling you to hold back from those feelings. Close your eyes, meditate, leave it to God. He could do it better. He wants you to heal. He wants you to forgive. He wants you to let go and trust that he will handle it. <laughs> for some of you guys, he's, your ancestors are saying, just chill, chill, look. When you give it to God, even though you don't understand how it's going to be done, they want you to chill to what? To be in this Ten of Cups. There are Nine of Cups. I said Ten of Cups, but Nine of Cups. The universe is giving you these signals. You just got to make the choice. Are you willing to make this choice? Mm -hmm. They want you to keep pushing forward. Love is coming your way. And look, Capricorn. I'm getting this channel message. For some of you guys, this could be a darker person. And you could be lighter or vice versa. However it may resonate. You're going to know if this is for you. Because this particular person not only likes to work with you, likes to unite, to bring unity. This particular person likes to see you eye to eye. If he's on top of you, if he's under you, no matter what. This particular person wants to see you eye to eye. When it comes to sexually, I'm talking, I'm hearing from your ancestors. No matter what, this particular person is going to see you eye to eye. It's almost like both of you guys are going to pierce each other and look into each other's eyes and see each other's soul. And look, this particular person is going to work with you. It's going to take a little bit to balance this shit out because one of you guys I'm hearing is going to have trust issues. But look, you can manifest anything you want because you guys are in your power. As far as for your past, I'm hearing. They want you to keep pushing forward. There's something about you that you've been studying, that you've been dwelling on, but you've been studying and you're about to blow up. Because some of you guys... They thought you were going to give up, that you were going to be in this energy of, fuck, I'm just going to give up my dreams and everything. But you see that tree in the back? You're about to blow the fuck up as soon as you get out of your head because this is the energy they wanted you in. But Capricorn, what they're freaking realizing or finding out right now, and they want me to show you this picture, is they sabotaged... They sabotage an amazing union with you. 
Capricorn, I don't know if this is you, but you need to use your intuition if this is you. Because for a lot of you guys, they thought you were going to give up. But when you were in this hangman, hangman energy, this is they thought you were stagnant. What they weren't realizing is that you were getting downloads from the universe to stay down and to release what no longer resonates. So that's what you did, Capricorn. Look, you're right behind this releasing. For some of you guys, yes, this is you releasing all the bullshit and control and not listening to other people. Yes. And for some of you guys, if you're in this energy, the universe is telling you to let go of past shit, guilt, shame. It's not going to do you any good. Let it go. The universe wants to control you by that. But for a lot of you guys, you guys are letting go and you're moving towards luck. Look who showed up again. This could be you, king of pinnacles, king or queen. Tarot has no gender. Look, as soon as you walk away and you healed and you hold on to your what? Your value. Six of pentacles come in. This is like the universe back and forth. Oh my God, look, the blessings come in. So that's what I have for you. Capricorn, the real deal. Put it in the comments. I am the motherfucking real deal. I believe in me. I am blessed. I am prosperous. I am gorgeous. Because for some of you guys, you're manifesting everything your heart desires. And look, Capricorn, they know you're moving forward. They know it. And so do you. But there's something about your energy, your spirit. And I'm hearing your ancestors. You're not only chilling, but you're dancing. There's something about you moving your body and dancing that brings this joy to your heart. And look, Capricorn, as you're pushing forward with love, this dancing, this spirit that you're going to have of moving and moving that energy, that stagnant energy that you have within you, it's going to have you pushing forward. The ancestors are telling you, trust your intuition. There's people that are going to come in, but you're going to be on this higher level of having fun with spirit, with God, the universe. That you're not going to look at lustful things. You're going to feel it in your intuition, your gut feeling, your heart. Your sight is so powerful. You're going to easily let those people go and you're going to walk away. And you're going to always choose spirit. Spirit is going to have what you want. <laughs> and this is a blessing. So for a lot of you guys, you're, you're, you're going to wait on spirits. And this, this is justice. And this is you. This is you with your eyes closed, trusting and your antennas and your heart chakra open to receive new love and prosperity. You're not chasing. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly in November. This is 111 today. It's a new beginning and people don't know that. And some of you guys don't know what you have, but communication's coming in from your ancestors and look, you got new love. And for some of you guys, this communication could be from your 10 of cups. And it could be what? Your emperor. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing karmic lessons learned, baby. So infinite tarot, 888. But before we go, Capricorn, hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment. If this is you, put it in the comments. I am the real deal. Oh my God, you're so damn gorgeous. I'm hearing your ancestors. I am gorgeous. I am beautiful. I am moving forward. I am freedom. I'm hearing total freedom. We already know you're rich as fuck. You're the GOAT. You're the GOAT getter, baby. So that's what I have for you. Infinite Tarot 888.